Today's topic is going to be ageism. And I wanted to talk about this because I'm seeing a lot of nasty ass comments about Sarah Jessica Parker and how she looks so old and everybody looks so old in the new movie. So that's what I want to talk about. I want to hear your thoughts on it. I'm going to insert some photos. I want to hear what you guys think about it. And let's get into the video. They are coming out with a new uh, Sex in the City. And they've had some different photos of Sarah Jessica Parker. So one of the photos that they shared, she had no makeup on one day. She was having lunch. She had no makeup on. You can see her gray roots, okay, because she had her hair back. So you could see the gray in her hair. And uh, she was just having lunch, just living her life. So many people are like, oh my God, couldn't she get her hair touched up or something? Like, like they're, she's just so old and washed up. Like, why, why are they doing this? Blah, blah, blah. That was one of the photos. The other photo that they had of her, she had this layered outfit out. It was kind of like really, like if you've watched those movies, her style is kind of, I feel like really trendy. There's somebody that follow I follow on, um, there's somebody that I follow on um, TikTok. He's a photographer. I can't remember what part of New York he goes in, but he takes these photos of these people and they all look like they just came out of a magazine, like Vogue. I mean, this is how they dress there. So that's how she dresses, very like hips, like hip, okay? And I think she looks amazing. But people were like, why is she wearing that? It looks so old and so tacky and she's dressing like too hip and blah, blah, blah. Um, have you ever seen the in, what is it called? The, the accidental, is it the accidental? The, I'm going to find her. She's, uh, she's just kind of like a self-made model. She's an older woman, a woman. I don't know if, I don't know how what her age is, so I'm not even going to put it out there, but she's older than I am, okay? And she just puts her stuff out there and she just she owns it. My question is, a couple questions I have. One, why do people get so offended if women wear gray hair? If have if they have gray hair. Now, I don't have gray hair. I've said this before. This is my hair. That's my natural hair color. I don't have a gray. I don't have any gray hair. Okay? This is all color though, that's all not natural. But I have not had my hair colored since, I feel like November, so I feel like I have at least that much outgrowth right now. But she does a really good job because the color that she uses is so close to my own color that it just goes with it and then she puts highlights on. She kind of does low lights and highlights. I personally don't, I, I don't, if, I, if I had gray hair, I probably would color it, but that's just a personal choice. It's not a judgment on anybody. Okay, it's not a judgment on anybody. It's just my personal choice. But I don't know why other people have to like make comments about somebody that chooses to have their gray hair showing. Why is that like a thing and why is it okay for younger people? I don't know if it's a thing so much anymore, but I know there was a lot of younger people making their hair gray and that's okay. But then when somebody actually goes gray, people are like, oh my God, you gotta color your hair. Like, why is that? A, why is society like that? I don't understand it. Why can't you just accept the way somebody wants to wear their hair or not wear their hair? If somebody wants to be gray and have their gray hair show, rock on, man. Do it. I don't want to do that for me because that's a personal choice for me, but I'm not judging anybody that does it, okay? Same with the way somebody dresses. I just dress the way I like. It's not for everybody. Some people probably, maybe I'm too boring or whatever. I don't really care because I just wear what I want and I wear shorts now and they are above my knee and I don't freaking care because I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to wear what I want to wear. So why is it like when you're old, you're supposed to be dressing like the Golden Girls? I'm sorry, I'm not dressing like that. I'm not dressing like my grandmother. Those women were like my age on that show. And they look older because of the way they dressed. I'm not dressing like that. I'm dressing the way I want to dress. I'm just dressing in clothes that I feel comfortable in wearing and that's what I'm going to wear. But if you are somebody that wants to show a little bit or you just like really colorful things or whatever, then freaking do it. I'm so tired of people judging other people on how they, they dress. You, we're not always gonna, there's things I don't like, there's different styles I don't really like, but I would never say that to somebody or put it out there. I just keep it to myself, just keep it to myself. Keep it to myself. But I would never judge other people and say, oh my God, look at what she, she looks so old. Why does it make somebody look old in what they're wearing? I don't understand that. I shared a video recently 
on my TikTok and I said I had a wig on. I had my hair was red, okay? My hair was red and I had a lot of makeup on and it just, the placement was really wrong and I had too much on and I was saying in the video, this is really aging on me. When you layer too much makeup, you can see, you know, I accentuated my pores and it made it look like I have texture and it made it look like I have lines and it made me look older than I am. And it, the lipstick made my lips look itty bitty the way I applied it and the color that I used. And the colors I used on my eyes were just too much and too heavy. Because it, on me, it looks aging. So what I was trying to say with that video is that you have to change as you age the way that you're applying your color and shadow just to complement complement your skin tone, your skin tone changes and all that. You just it just complements your hair tone, complements all that. The red here on me and the the style of it and how short it was looked ridiculous. I'm gonna insert a photo. I mean I look ridiculous, okay? That looks ridiculous on me. You can't tell me that that doesn't make me look like I'm 10 years older than I am, okay? So I could I could have done that and then and worn my makeup a certain way and it does look aging. But there's a difference, I feel like there's a difference between that and how Sarah Jessica Parker is dressed. She just doesn't look like an old lady. And I don't think she looks like she's trying to be 20 either. She's just, it's a character that she's playing. And even in every day, I'm going to say, it seems like what she wears in every day isn't too far off from her character. I, I mean, she, she has shoes. If you look at her shoes, her shoes are not like old lady, if you want to call them old lady shoes, whatever those are. But, I mean, they're not orthopedic shoes. I mean, they're really cute shoes. But why not? Do you mean that we get to a certain age and we can't be sexy anymore? That we can't be pretty anymore? That we have to dress like, I don't even know. I mean, the red here, to me, the red, the dark red hair just was, is too aging on me. It's just too extreme for me. So, what are your thoughts on this? Where do we, where do we draw the line on this? I mean, I just feel like, I feel like it's individual. When I share makeup tips, I'm just trying to help women. Here, let me just try to explain this. There's a lot of women my age that have not put makeup on in years. And they don't know what to do because they're kind of stuck putting it on the way they did when they were in their high school. If I wore my makeup the way I did when I was in high school, I would look like that. Because that's kind of how I used to wear it. I can't do that anymore. It just looks aging. It's As you age, you just have to soften it. It doesn't mean that you can't wear color. It doesn't mean you can't wear shorter hairstyles. It doesn't mean you can't change the, your style and look, you can, but you just have to choose something that's going to be complimentary to you. But at the end of the day, and I want you to listen to this, okay? At the end of the day, you have to do what makes you feel comfortable. It doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter what society says. So if society is saying, no, on that. You like use in bold colors and it makes you feel happy? Then do it. Do it. If it makes you happy, then just do it. Right? Just do it. That's what I'm telling you. Do it. Again, I'm always going to share tips to help women, but at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for you. And the same with the way you dress. If there's certain clothes you want to wear and it makes you feel good about yourself and it makes you feel confident about yourself, that's all that matters is you. Now you feel about yourself, right? Who cares about what other people think? Do what makes you feel better. That's what I think. So let me know in the comments below. I want to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think about this? I know I've talked about a lot today. <laughs> I've covered a lot. I talked about gray hair. We talked about makeup a little bit, fashion. We talked about a little bit of everything, but I just feel like it all has to do with it because people were really coming down on her because she didn't have makeup on. There's days I don't wear makeup on. I don't give a crap if people like it or not. And then when you have makeup on, then people are like, oh my God. That's what at the end of the day you got to do what you want to do. And I say kudos to her for 
somebody that's so high profile put themselves out there, had a photo of her, which I thought she looked beautiful. People thought she was like, ugh, because she didn't have makeup on. I, I thought she looked amazing still. I go out with no makeup on. I feel more confident than I've ever felt because I don't give two craps about what people think. And I think that is one of the best things about aging is that the older we get, we don't care what people think. When we were in our 20s, we worried about, like, I wouldn't go outside without makeup on. When I was in my 20s, everything had to be done. I had to look, like, good. Now it's like, no. Mm -mm. I just go out and I, makeup, no makeup, I don't care. I walk tall, confident. I don't even put sunglasses on anymore. I used to do that. I put sunglasses on so people wouldn't see me. Now I'm like, I don't care. This is me. This is, me. This, this is what I look like. No makeup. I'm good. I'm good with the no makeup. And you should be too. Right? So let me know what your thoughts are. Would love to hear your opinions on this topic. And thank you all so much for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, let me know what, you, what your thoughts are. And let me know if there's any other topics that you'd like me to discuss. Let me know in the comments as well. And I'll catch you guys all in my next video. Bye. Am I, I hope I wasn't too crooked the whole video. Am I monitor here? I hope I wasn't too far over. Oh Lord. Sometimes I've got to edit my videos and I'm like, I just want to take myself and move myself over. I gotta go eat. It's storming. I don't have anything funny, you guys. I'm sorry. I don't have anything funny to say. Sorry. I don't. But I hope you're having a good day. I really do. I hope you're having a really good day. So. Okay. I gotta get going.